Everything about space is hazardous. It's an extremely harsh environment. And yet here we have a, a laboratory where humans can thrive and they can do experiments and they can learn more about their environment and how to mitigate those dangers. The International Space Station, right now it's going through space at 17,500 miles an hour. It's surrounded by a vacuum so that if you got a hole in any of the modules, then, then you would lose all of your air pressure inside. When it's in the sun, it's at 160 degrees, and when it's cold, it's at minus 50 degrees. It gives us our first long-term access to space life. It's, it's how do you live and operate in space. There's usually over 200 experiments that are on the International Space Station at any one time. Now we're at the very beginning of, of getting science results back and showing that it is worth that investment. What Boeing does for the International Space Station is we are the sustaining engineer. So we make sure that the, the International Space Station is functioning properly so that the astronauts can stay healthy and that they're not having to worry about maintenance or repairing different parts of the station. They can spend their time doing real science experiments. And if an experiment uh, comes in the door to NASA and they would like to put it on the International Space Station. Boeing is very highly involved in making sure that it is safely uh, integrated into the space station and can be used by the astronauts. We're working hard to streamline the processes to get experiments quickly up onto space station. One of the experiments showed that viruses react differently in space. When you get out of the gravity environment, they become much more deadly. What that did is it enabled the scientists on the ground to be able to determine ways to make them less deadly because that genetic marker is the same. And then they can develop vaccines. So they're looking at vaccines for things like salmonella, which affects hundreds and thousands of people across the world. They looked at the MERS, the flesh-eating bacteria virus. You know, And if you can find effective ways to treat those things from things that you learn on the International Space Station, then that's a benefit for everyone. There has never been anything like the International Space Station. Well, I'm just really proud to be a part of the team that has built a capability that is unique in the history of the world. You know, we've taken the best minds and we've built something that I think will really help humanity.